in case of semiconductors the gap between the valence band and conduction band is really small therefore some electrons of may jump to the conduction band and shows some conductivity electrical conductivity of semiconductor increases with a rise in temperature since more electrons can jump to the conduction band substances like silicon germanium shows this type of behavior they are called as intrinsic semiconductors the conductivity of these intrinsic semiconductors is too low to be of practical use their conductivity is increased by adding an appropriate amount of suitable impurity the adding of impurity to the conductor or semiconductor is called as doping you are able to see the doping here is the typical 3d of how the n type and p type is here is the p type conductor which got holes in it and n type conductor what it will be its electrons so there will be excess of electrons in n type and there will be holes in p type so deficiency of electrons you are able to see there is a hole here doesn't have you are able to see there is a excessive of electrons here so now what happen is like if i try to merge your p type and n type the direction of current will be there so p type from there a hole will start moving and n type will start moving here over here you are able to see there is a negative things so it's it's coming here you are able to see the plus here so this one is p type and n type which is connected to the negative one positive terminal of the battery the whole current will start moving in this direction and the electron current will start moving in this direction you are able to see the light is on this is how using pn junction you are able to generate electricity doping can be done with an impurity which is electron rich or electron deficient as compared to the intrinsic semiconductor silicon or germanium such impurities introduce the electronic defects in them i'm trying to show the electronic defects in it so now we are looking into the electron rich impurities as you know previously we discussed on electron deficient one and this one is electron rich impurities silicon and germanium belong to the group 14 of the periodic table and got four valence electron 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 and 4 so in the crystals each atom forms four covalent bond with its neighbor atom so when dop the group 15 element like phosphorus or arsenic which contains five valence electron they occupy some of the latter sites in silicon or germanium crystal four out of five are used in bonding with one electron remaining the fifth electron is extra and become delocalized this delocalized electron increases the conductivity of doped silicon or germanium hence the increase in conductivity is due to the negatively charged electron hence silicon doped with the electron rich impurity then it's called a n type semiconductor the electron is more let's move on to the electron deficit impurities silicon or germanium can also be doped with a group 13 elements like boron aluminum or gallium which contains only three valence electron the place where the fourth valence electron is missing is called as electron hole or electron deficiency or vacancy an electron from a neighboring atom can come and fill the electron hole but in doing so it could leave an electron hole at its original position it can't be possible right there will be a hole 
If it happens, it would appear as if the electron hole has removed in the direction opposite to that of the electron that filled it. So under the influence of electrical field, the electrons would move towards the positively charged plate 